Hi guys, I'm Laurie Wells with Realty World Booth in Deutsch. Today I'm out at 238 South Chestnut Street in Mill Hall. This brick two-story farm style house has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, approximately 1,670 square feet and is ready for new owners. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, as we're entering the home, you'll see this quaint porch. Nice open porch. All right, let's head in. And there's a kitty greeting us. Okay, so as you're coming in, the um, staircase is separating the living room from the dining room. To your left is the living room. Just give you a full shot of this. Pretty uh, ceiling fan. Lots of natural light, natural woodwork. Okay, so those are the uh, window that is at the front of the house. Okay, and then as I completely make a panoramic view, you'll see the front door that we came in. Okay. So over here is the dining room. Again, notice these laminate floors. They're very, very well maintained. Nice color, neutral paint colors. Another nice light. So in the back of the first floor, we're gonna go to the kitchen soon. And that has um, a laundry area. There's also a half bath and a mud room and a side entrance to one of the off street parking spots and also a deck that I'll show a little later. All right, guys, let's look at this kitchen. So this kitchen has custom hickory cabinets, lots of nice features, beautiful handles, laminate countertop. It's a bright and cheery kitchen, lots of natural light, plenty of room to hang out with your family while you're baking, cooking, drinking wine, whatever it takes. I'm just gonna do a complete pan. So you can see that you have two openings, one this way towards the living room and the other towards the dining room. That door is to the basement, which we'll visit in a moment. Here we have more storage. And this is one of the cutest little features about this room. So the stackable washer and dryer do come with the, the property. And this is a chalkboard painted wall. Write some notes to, you know, remind your family of things or yourself of things. Um, yeah, I love that space. Then you've got a little, you can make this little desk area, put a little chair down there. It's got a cute little light. Again, the lighting. Um, there's very natural lighting in here. You can see the view out um, through the deck into Mill Hall, which I'll show you in a moment. The only thing that doesn't come with this kitchen is the microwave. It's not built in. And unfortunately, this beautiful island does not come with it. Okay, so again, we're going to head over this way. This is the mud room to so cut a um, little coat area off the side entrance where you come in. Kids can throw their stuff. You'll see the ceramic tile floors and then you've got a half bath. These rooms are approximately six by four. So this room here, bathroom is about six foot by four. Same for the mudroom. And again, we're going to outside to the side entrance and parking slot and deck a little later. Okay, so now we're gonna to head to the basement since it's close by. I'll be right back. Okay, we're coming down to the basement. All right, let's look at the foundation. It's an older stacked stone foundation, which was common for houses this age. Um, the house was built in 1930 and remodeled completely in, in 2016. The foundation looks great. Um, not seeing any issues, doesn't appear to have any issues. So let me just do a quick, quick pan. Oh, 
furnace is going to kick on. So I'm moving to the furnace. This is an oil-fired oil hot air furnace. It has been serviced regularly. And uh, again, I want to mention that the first floor is only heated by that, and the second floor is the electric baseboard. All right, into this room, which gives you access to the outside under the deck, you'll find the water heater. Looks in good shape. And these are looking to be original windows in some of the areas, a little cabinet for working it in a workshop type stuff. And some new plumbing. Okay, a little more storage under the stairs. But that's pretty much it with the base. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot the electrical box. One second, here's the oil tank. And this is a 100 amp service. All right, so that pretty much sums up the basement. And uh, we're gonna pause and get you upstairs again. Okay, so now we're upstairs. First room you'll have to the right is the master bedroom or what's currently being used as the master bedroom. This room's about 17 by 12, directly above the dining room. Nice set of pocket doors for the closet. Nice big closet, lots of natural light and neutral colors. And we also have access to the attic and another kitty. Okay, let's take a peek in the attic. Got another nice window. Paneled walls, nice wide staircase. Let me head up here. So this attic is floored. You'll see the old uh, attic floorboards, a typical older home attic. Some lights, but there's plenty of room for storage and I'm sure even plenty of room if you wanted to redo an extra space if you can see all that okay all right so we're gonna head back down the stairs to continue on with the bedrooms Okay, so across from bedroom one, we have bedroom two, and this is currently being used as a kid's room. It is again, 17 by 12. <clears throat> nice big closet with the pocket doors. Lots of natural lighting. Cute kid's room. It's a girl's room right now. And I just want to mention that these windows are new double pane thermal tilt in windows. I'll show you here in a minute. Bedroom number three, approximately 10 by 11. Cute set of bunk beds. You may have noticed the baseboard heat. So the upstairs has been zoned individually for each room and is using electric heat. The downstairs is run by an oil-fired furnace, hot air. So yeah, you can see these windows, nice new windows. Let me take a peek here. Well, that didn't work so well, hang on. You can see the nice new windows. Okay. And again, a closet in this room as well. Lots of storage in this house. Okay, now on to a very pretty bathroom. So this bathroom has ceramic tile floor, a nice vanity, lots of storage. You'll see a drawer or a couple few, few drawers, a door, and then a nice closet over here. We've got a linen closet inside. It's a full bath, tub, shower. And that's it for the upstairs. Um, we have a cute little 
nook right here. Another nice window. And then a nice view of the very wide staircase, which is great for getting furniture and mattresses up and down. All right, so here we are going out the side entrance that I talked about earlier that leads to the deck and to the lower level patio. You'll see some nice uh, rock feature here on the steps. This is the uh, one parking stall for the off street parking. As I just wanna mention, there is no parking on Chestnut Street on the street. So these, this house happens to have the luxury of two parking stalls, one on each side. So down the steps here, you'll see a patio section. Boy, is it windy today for April 2nd. And they house a picnic table and a grill. And then under here, you'll see more storage. This could be enclosed even. Um, for more storage or even covered for a patio, additional patio, either one. So let's head back up to the deck. <clears throat> okay, so the deck is approximately 25 by 10 foot. Perfect size for a hot tub, if that's your thing, or even just, you know, lounging conversation outdoor furniture that type of thing so here's the view from the deck you will see they have additional parking out back you can put a garage a shed a nice little fire pit the lot size is about um, I want to say it's 0.17 acres from this view you can see 220 Let me zoom in there so you can see 220 and this location is so convenient. I just want to mention that you are minutes away from stores like Walmart, Lowe's, some great restaurants on Hogan Boulevard. You're also minutes away from 220 South, Interstate 80, and Route 64 to get to State College. So if you work in Williamsport and you hop on 220, head north approximately 35 minutes to get to work. Or if you're in the State College area, you could also hop on 64 and go about 35 minutes from there, getting on 80 and 99 to get to State College. Anyway, this is just a complete pan from the deck. Well guys, this concludes our tour of 238 South Chestnut Street in Mill Hall. Again, my name is Laurie Wells. I work for Realty World Booth in Deutsch in Mentorsville. You can reach me at 570-447-5485 or at my office, 570-505-3957. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the tour.